can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. For some positive numbers a, b, and c, find the minimum value of a squared plus a plus 1 multiplied by b squared plus b plus 1 multiplied by c squared plus c plus 1 all over a, b, c. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so for some positive numbers a, b, c, then the goal is to find the minimum possible value of this expression a squared plus a plus 1 multiplied by b squared plus b plus 1 multiplied by c squared plus c plus 1 all over b, b, c. Now, I will show you two different methods to answer this kind of question. So the first one is by using the algebra approach. And the second one is by using the AMGM inequality, which is a very straightforward technique to answer this kind of question. So let's begin first with our first approach, which is the algebra method. Now, to answer this using algebra, take note that a squared is always greater than or equal to 0. If we put 0, so 0 is greater than or equal to 0. If we put 1, we have 1 squared or 1, 1 is greater than or equal to 0. This is always true. And this is also true if we have a plus 1 raised to the power of 2. This is always greater than or equal to 0. And also, this is also true when we have a minus 1 raised to the power of 2. This is again always greater than or equal to 0. Now, in this three, we will use the third one. So, let's focus on this. Because if we expand a minus 1 raised to the power of 2, we get a squared minus 2a plus 1, and this expression is always greater than or equal to 0. Now, why we use this? Because if we add 3a on both sides, the left-hand side of our inequality is just a squared plus a plus 1. Now, let's focus on this result because this is what we want to find. Now, divide all of this term by a, so we have an equality that says that a squared plus a plus 1 all over a is always greater than or equal to 3. Now, using similar method, if we expand b minus 1 raised to the power of 2 is greater than or equal to 0, we arrive at b squared plus b plus 1 all over b that is also greater than or equal to 3. With the same reasoning, we also have c squared plus c plus 1 all over c is greater than or equal to 3 also. Now using this 3 inequality, if we multiply all of this, we arrive at this given expression. And it says that this given expression is greater than or equal to 27. It means that the minimum value of this expression is just 27. And this happens when a equals b equals c equals 1, or all of this variable is equal to 1. So, using algebra approach, we can say that the minimum value of this expression is simply equal to 27. Now, how about using a straightforward technique by using the AMGM inequality? So, let's begin. Now, what is AMGM even mean? So it says that the arithmetic mean of some positive numbers is always greater than or equal to its geometric mean. Now, let's try this inequality to our expression. We have a squared plus a plus 1. And take note, a, b, and c are all positive numbers. So we can say that a squared is positive, a is positive, and of course, 1 is positive. So we can use what we call the AMGM inequality. If we get the arithmetic mean of this, it says that it is always greater than or equal to its geometric mean. So we have a squared plus a plus 1 all over 3. This is greater than or equal to the cube root of a squared times a times 1. Now a squared times a times 1, this is just a cube. And cube root of a cube, this is just a. Now rearrange sometimes a little bit. So we can say that a squared plus a plus 1 all over a is greater than or equal to 3. Now with a similar reasoning, we get also that 
b squared plus b plus 1 all over b is greater than or equal to 3. And of course, c squared plus c plus 1 all over c is greater than or equal to 3. And we see this a while ago. And of course, if we multiply all of this inequality, we arrive at this expression. And it says that this expression is greater than or equal to 27. That means that its minimum value is 27. Therefore, given that this a, b, and c are all positive numbers, then the minimum value of this expression using two methods, algebra approach and AMGM inequality, we get that the minimum value of this expression is just 27. And as always, we are done.